Thank you all for, for coming. And uh, we are happy uh, to uh, have uh, a guest from Cambridge University, Richard Berg Rust, and from Hughes Hall. And it's part of our lecture series called uh, Think Exponential. So I would like to uh, expand a little bit on this uh, notion of uh, exponential. And I would like it to, uh, to be the context for what we're going to hear later. And I, I would like to explain this through six words. Uh, so, think exponential means... Uh, sorry if the formatting uh, got... Uh, it changed from Mac to uh, PC, so I figured you would uh, still read it, digitization. So this digitization means that uh, nowadays we have all kinds of information that are taking this shape of uh, digitization where before, uh, if we go back, it had uh, the invention of the alphabet, writing, printing press. And then when we arrived to digitization, it meant an incredible uh, fast speed of spreading uh, new ideas, new, uh, uh, all kinds of new currents of thinking at the speed of light. And uh, also keep in mind disruption. Uh, this disruption is uh, what happens when an innovation creates a new market and disrupts the existing one. So for example, uh, you will immediately see what I mean when I say Kodak became a victim of its own invention that was the digital camera, but they didn't see it come and replace them. Uh, we have also in disruption uh, inventions or services, we have Uber, or here in Armenia is Gigi, that is now threatening the taxi industry or changing it. There's Airbnb that is challenging the hotel industry. So all this is based on uh, internet digitization. Uh, there's also now self-driving cars that are coming up and they are actually going to change a lot uh, about what transportation means to us, the delivery, the insurance, actually quite a lot of companies have to rethink themselves in this context. There's also robotics and 3D printing that are re-questioning what we mean by manufacturing. So we will go from mass manufacturing to personalized manufacturing. There's also deception. What I mean by deception is uh, the period during which exponential growth is uh, slowly happening. You know, it starts slowly because it, it doubles all the time. So there's a period where something has been invented, a new uh, technology, and you don't really see its impact until suddenly it, uh, it rises, it shoots up. So the deception part is at the beginning and that's where we have to watch for these new uh, emerging technologies and see what kind of opportunities and possibilities they are offering all our young minds for new niches of, uh, of uh, activities and economy. You notice there are six Ds. Uh, demonetization. So th what it means is technology that makes things practically free. Uh, think of uh, how the digital camera basically made the film free. Uh, long distance calls that were extremely expensive suddenly with Skype became uh, free. Uh, so knowledge is also accessible and practically free. Uh, and this is one very important uh, character. Sorry, it really bothers me to see the end of the <laughs> But there's also dematerialization. What do we mean by that? Is, uh, for example, take your smartphone. Just uh, the existence of the smartphone and its capacity now has completely canceled a whole line of products. For example, digital cameras, they are now in your, in your smartphone. Your watch, it's now in the smartphone. The GPS or VCR or music player, 
video games and console, calculators, flashlights, and uh, we are going to continue seeing applications that are in the medical field that right now are services that are expensive, but they will be attachments to your smartphone. So that's coming up big time. There's also democratization, which means uh, what used to be a luxury item, now it's uh, in the hands of everybody. In the past, uh, you know, an iPhone or a digital phone was very expensive and only used by a, a small uh, part of uh, society. Now it's in the hands of everyone. So I, I wanted you to keep all these uh, different uh, stages, six stages that are really proper to what we call exponential growth and thinking of markets and oftentimes uh, while the technology goes exponential, our use of technology remains actually quite linear. And in between lies a whole field of opportunities. And um, if uh, you think of organizations uh, such as uh, uh, Google and uh, Facebook, basically uh, we have to think they are worth billions because they are reaching out to billions of people. And uh, while we are thinking of this type of growth and hoping to have the next Google or Facebook coming from Armenia, uh, what I would like to ask all of our youth is also to think about how we equally need an exponential advance in humanity's uh, social consciousness so that technologies find roles in bettering uh, humankind, not just in creating wealth for, uh, but for their founders, but also really a positive impact for society. So that's our challenge, how you create wealth and positive impact for society. Now, uh, these uh, kind of environments have, uh, especially the combination of creating wealth and thinking of uh, our humanitarian side and our duty to, uh, to serve the world, uh, universities seem to be a very fertile ground to start thinking of these issues. So this is uh, why you are here today, to, uh, to explore this, uh, this part of uh, what the future holds for us. I would like to invite uh, Aram Hajian, who's Dean of Engineering at AUA to tell us about the latest advances uh, at AUA and then we'll move on with uh, our guests. Thank you, Thank you Jacqueline. Uh, so yeah, welcome all here. Uh, I'll be very short. Um, AUA is experiencing a lot of growth, a lot of change right now. Uh, I won't enumerate all those changes. Uh, I'll just say that we welcome uh, this coming June our first graduates of our undergraduate programs that were launched four years ago. So we have English and Communications, Business and Computer Science as the inaugural three programs. Uh, this fall we'll welcome, uh, pending our accreditation, a new undergraduate program in Engineering Sciences and a new graduate program in Management strategic management. And so there's a lot going on. So the, the number of programs are growing, the number of graduates are growing, and the interdisciplinary nature of a lot that's happening at AUA, I think is of uh, particular uh, note or interest today. Uh, one of those interdisciplinary centers is EPIC, our Entrepreneurship and Product Innovation Center. Uh, EPIC was launched uh, over the past year. Uh, it's a center that serves the AUA community and beyond. We have partners in, in Armenia throughout welcoming uh, student groups, alumni groups, mixed groups, folks from within AUA, from outside of AUA to pitch their ideas, uh, or technology, their potentially their products, their innovations uh, as, they, as we incubate businesses for tomorrow. And uh, so just please uh, find us online uh, at EPIC, or please visit us in, in the 
sister building next door in the basement or on the fifth, sixth floor. Epic has some very interesting laboratory space with some cutting edge technological equipment, as well as some meeting areas and uh, common uh, discussion areas up on the fifth, sixth floor. Uh, but today, uh, I guess, thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Louise Foundation, uh, a strategic partner of ours here in Armenia. Uh, our goal today is uh, we're very honored to have with us, uh, you had 60s, I have two R's, uh, Richard Rust. Uh, so we have Richard Berg Rust, our visitor from Cambridge, uh, on behalf of, I guess, uh, with, together with Louise Foundation, um, he's visiting Armenia, and I'm, we're thrilled that he took time to come and see us at AUA. We had a very pre uh, discussion visit to Epic where he got to uh, witness tidbits, let's say short pitches from uh, several of the groups that have participated in Epic's uh, competition recently and on a variety of topics and technologies. Um, Richard Bergrust is the development director and fellow at Hughes Hall, as we heard. Uh, he joined Cambridge's oldest and most cosmopolitan graduate college in 2013, the Hughes Hall and works in partnership with an alumni network with folks from over 117 countries worldwide, uh, portfolio of projects including major scholarship programs, capital development, most recently delivering a 12 million pound uh, new accommodation building for students at Hughes Hall last year, and a few years ago established the Hughes Hall Enterprise Society, which works to encourage enterprising students to establish startup businesses. So this world is all about networks. We mentioned some of these networks within AUA, some with AUA and Luis here in Armenia and beyond. Uh, I welcome uh, Mr. Richard Rust as we explore networking even beyond our borders with one of the world's most prestigious universities at Cambridge. So thank you very much. Can everyone hear me there? Uh, I'll try and speak in my clearest English voice. My Armenian is very, very poor.